Hi guys! This is your teacher Malu Abispo and welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification para updated kayo sa susunod nating written works at performance tasks. At kung may tanong kayo, just comment down below. Good morning, grade 10, grade 10 Moab, Nazareth, and Macedonia. Today's lesson was taken from our textbook, Unit 4, Household Services, Chapter 3, Dining Room Operations and Procedures. For today, we are going to focus on the dining area. Dining room operations and procedures and our learning objective is to identify and discuss some principles of successful dining operations. Here are some of the principles of successful dining operations. The first one talks about good food. Remember that a good quality food must be one of the top priorities of the server. It should be properly prepared cooked, and served. Prompt and courteous service. This contributes to the enjoyment of customers and their loyalty to keep on returning to your establishment. A well-balanced and varied menus motivates customers to return and dine in your place again, as well as encourages them to suggest it to their friends and families. Prices should be within the paying capability of the customers and, of course, adequate facilities. This ensures customers that health regulations for food services are followed. So, remember, facilities should be clean and orderly. The main aspects that projects a positive or negative image in a hotel or restaurant are the size and shape of dining room, the decor and interior design, the table setting and arrangement, the furniture and fittings, the comfort, scheme, and lighting arrangement, the type of atmosphere, whether formal or informal, the type of clientele, quality of service, the attitude of the staff, and of course, the quality of product being presented. The front of the house are the areas visible to the public and the back of the house are reserved to the staff. So kung babalikan natin yung lessons ninyo nung nakaraang school year, nung kayo ay nasa grade 9, binanggit na natin yung different areas ng back of the house and front of the house. So since dining room operations and procedures ang ating topic, magkoconcentrate tayo doon sa back of house. What you are seeing right now is an example of a restaurant layout. So makikita nyo dito yung uh, seven major work areas. Nasa back of the house yung receiving, yung storage, preparation, cooking area, yung housekeeping and support services. So mas malaki yung floor area ng serving area. Ito yung tinatawag natin na dining room. So moving on is another um, infograph showing you the difference of back of the house and front of the house. So the difference is one of appearance and presentability. Pag sinabi natin front of the house, it refers to all actions and areas that a customer will be exposed during their stay at a restaurant, such as the lobby, the dining area, the waiting area. Employees who work in the front of the house should have excellent hygiene and adopt a professional, welcoming, demeanor at all times. The back of the house is a term used for all the behind scene actions that the customers typically do not see. This usually includes the kitchen, where the food is prepared and cooked 
It can also include employees' break rooms and any office area that you might have. So remember, all the behind scene areas that the customer will not see are the areas in the back of the house. So let us focus on the front of the house, the dining room, operations, and the procedures that happens in the waiting area, the bar, the lounge, or the entrance, and the entrance. So to have a review, each area of the back of the house are divided into several areas. So one example is the storage area. So in general, it can be divided into two, the dry and the wet. The dry storeroom contains the foods which are boxed, tinned, or in sacks, yung mga non-perishable. The wet storage area contains the refrigerator and the freezer. It contains the perishable like meat, fish, poultry, some fruits, and vegetables. Others have linen room, silver room, and wash-up room. Linen rooms are the place where table napkins, tablecloth, placemats, towels are kept clean and ready for use. The silver room contains the stacks of table top components or table appointments. And the wash-up room is equipped with the dishwasher, the drying appliances, used by the staff to wash plates, pots and pans, cutlery, cup, saucer, and other things. So the main aspects that gives a positive or negative image for the customers are the size and the shape of the dining room. So tinitignan ng client yung decor and interior design, paano yung pagkaka-arrange ng mga upuan, yung quality ng service, yung attitude ng staff, of course, tinitignan nila yung food and beverage na sineserve natin. So, in general, meron tayong tinatawag na formal and informal. Pag sinabi natin formal, yung interior design is very comfortable. And the expected client are from the upper class. It has a luxurious surroundings that generally suggest gourmet food. Some other restaurants create an informal, relaxed atmosphere with interior design meant for customers with different needs and expectations. Quality service requires the use of serving equipment and utensils. Service crew must be familiar with the various equipment and supplies for dining service. They should also be trained on the appropriate use of this equipment to prevent breakage and damages. There are very limited furnishing and equipment enumerated in our basic textbook. It can be found on page 344. So let me add some more. Flambe trolley. It is consists of one or two burners, a gas cylinder, and work and storage space. It also has a space for plates and cooking equipment. Using this trolley, the food is flambéed at the guest table. So remember, to flambé is to cook foods at the guest table. So ito yung ginagamit natin sa Geridon service. Meron itong mga advantages like it ensures the exact serving temperatures and the stage for any dishes sensitive to this. The food turns into entertainment and of course it creates an atmosphere of sophistication. Another trolley is what we call basing trolley. It is used to gather soil dishes to be carried to the dishwashing area. So ito yung isang uh, equipment na nakaka-save tayo ng time, energy, and effort. Cheese trolley can make you select cheeses you want. So cheese in European countries is an important part of a meal in a classical tradition. 
the cheese trolley is rolled out to your table and you make your selection, mostly Swiss, French, and Italian cheeses. Dessert trolley serves a visual aid to selling desserts. Guests are more likely to order a dessert if the guest can see what is available, particularly if it is well presented. A bar service trolley is a small table on wheels, para siyang portable bar. Meron din tayong tinatawag na meal tray trolley and it is used for hospitals and hotels. So in general, a trolley is a device used for carrying load, loads of food and transport the food and beverages from one point to the other. Meron pa tayong iba't ibang trolley na hindi ko na na-mention katulad ng carving trolley fruit trolley or dog trolley or yung tinatawag natin room service trolley. Ito yung nagdadala ng food ordered by the client from the kitchen to your uh, guest room. A folding side tray holds ready to serve plated food. It is a portable tray where it is assembled and then served at the guest table. It is placed right beside the guest table. A glass divider rack or glass divider tray is used to store glasses. The divider in the rack is designed to prevent glass contact which can cause breakage. A china rack is a plate rack that is very stylish and convenient a plate rack is a stylish and convenient way to store plates. A cutlery rack is a storage for cutleries. Some racks can be plugged into an electric outlet for sanitizing purposes. There are different sizes and shapes of trays. There are different uses for serving trays, including carrying food and beverages from one place to another, as well as enabling those in the industry to speak, as well as enabling those in the industry to serve a specific size portions of food. Some serving trays are used to hold plates and drinks, while others while well, some serving trays are used to hold plates and drinks, while other restaurants choose the tray to serve food on. So there are several types of serving tray. Meron tayong tinatawag na fast food serving tray, may serving trays with compartment, appetizer serving trays, tea serving trays, we have plastic serving trays, food and serving trays, metal serving trays, and we also have fiberglass serving tray. The interior dimension of our classic serving tray are 13 by 19 inches, which is the most common size of a placement. So this is no coincidence. We designed the tray to hold one entire place setting or isang cover. Bread baskets serves as container for breads and rolls. A menu is a list of the dishes that may be ordered or that are to be served. Menu stand is where a menu is clipped at the table and the table number is used to designate the number of the table. Bills are presented in a bill folder and change of the customer, if any, is placed on the change tray. So instead of handing your payment to the clerk or to the cashier or setting it on the counter by the cash register, here you are generally expected to put your payment into a tray that is presented expressly for the purpose. The clerk takes it away and returns it with your change. The condiment stand carries condiments, while the sauce boat is a container for sauce, sauces and gravy. 
this typically includes salt and pepper shakers and often bottles of vinegar and olive oil. Flower base and candelabra. These decorative accessories are placed at the center of the table. So aside from flower base and candelabra, we are also using different types of centerpiece such as fruit basket, bread basket, and other things. Straw dispensers is used as container for dispensing straw. Serving tongs are used for serving food and other items. So ito yung isang ginagamit natin to avoid bare hand contact with food. A cake stand is used for cake display. Salt and pepper shaker are containers for condiments. So to summarize, the guidelines in setting up furniture in the dining areas are the following. So we need to leave adequate space between tables. So let us be careful of packing tables in our dining room. A good rule of thumb for placing restaurant tables is to leave a minimum of 24 inches in between the corners of the table. So remember, 24 inches or 2 feet para makakagalaw tayo ng maluwag in between tables. Number two is to make the weight station portable. Having a portable weight station enables you to move it according to your needs according to your needs instead of relocating a table into a less desirable area of your dining room. Number three is to use dividers. Halfway dividers set on casters are an easy solution to divide an open room and vice versa. Sit in every seat. Spot problem areas by sitting in every chair in your dining room and studying the view from each. Experiencing each seat first allows you to make changes before customers complain. Moving on to number five, let us select star D furniture. So remember, when you are going to purchase tables and chairs, you need to look for easy to clean designs and avoid the ones with lots of intricate carvings and crevices that are hard to wipe down and keep free of crumbs and other debris. Number six, decide how loud is too loud. Some restaurants' concepts are better suited for loud environment, katulad ng bar and other casual setting. But others, like fine dining, like fine dining, it requires a much quieter setting. So, kapag nag-install tayo ng wood or tile floors or high ceiling, it can make the sound echo more. So if we need to tone down the sound, area carpets can help reduce the noise. Number seven, select appropriate window covering. So bakit natin kailangan ng window coverings? If the sun is making your restaurant dining room too hot or uncomfortable for customers, you need to invest in window treatments that are sturdy, easy to clean, and easy to open and close. The arrangements of tables and chairs is not complete without arranging the different furniture and equipment. The important guide is to provide enough space as required by the, top, by the type of service used. Formal services require wider covers compared to informal ones. So in a buffet table, tables can be arranged in different shapes. This can be arranged separately to form food stations such as stations for roast, salad stations, and the like. Folding tables can also be constructed to these types of services to allow for different arrangements. So it is important to remember three things in arranging the table. First one is to provide adequate space for the number of guests to be served. Number two is to set the buffet table as close to the food source as possible because this will allow the food servers to replenish the buffet table promptly and with a minimum obstruction. 
Study the logical arrangement or movement of the dimers. Why? This will prevent crisscrossing, avoid traffic, and of course, make service prompt and efficient. So are you learning? I hope you are. This is your teacher, Madu Obispo, saying thank you for listening. Stay safe and may God bless us all.